Hi everybody, I'm going to show you some amazing revolutionary medical advances that have made it possible to transplant a face onto people who have facial deformities or have been in major accidents. Let's look up face transplant. Where do you see some of these new ones? Okay, look at this guy. Before and after, right here. Let's click on this. Oh, come on. Let's just look at the picture. Right here. Okay. Look at this. Okay, he's got some scars on his eyes in the second one. Okay, it's not that... Not that terrible. They... it. I mean, he went on the left. Look at that. He's got like a hole in the middle of his... The nose is like... 10 times worse than Michael Jackson and his chin, the skin on it is just terrible. And it's just so sad, but look at beautiful forehead, beautiful eyebrows, um, hairline, young ears or around here, nothing wrong. So they were able to put a young person's face on his face right here. And this is after the surgery. And this looks pretty amazing. That's unbelievable. It looks like just a young guy has kind of some scars on his eyes. No, that's not that big of a problem. He has a perfect nose. Young person, you know, as far as a nose goes, that's pretty good. Really good. Really good. Look at it. It's like a model's nose. Some, some models look, you know, the whole lower part of his face looks like a model. Upper part of his face looks like a model because he was still young. And... Right here, the scars in the eyes. If if he takes the medicine well, and I think they all take the medicine well now. I think they all keep their faces. I'm not sure. I'd have to research it. Some of them may have, have to do a, a new surgery or something in addition to the original surgery. But this is pretty amazing. Look at that. Young man's face. That's the same guy. Oh, it's so sad. And he got a new face. Looks like a young man. You know, they can work on later on if they're very careful. They can, I mean, that's pretty good. Look at his face. Looks pretty normal. That's it right there. That's, I mean, amazing. Amazing. Young face, too. And um, here is, here's another picture of him. Look at him on the right amazing regular guy has some scars on his face no big not that big of a problem that's amazing he went at 10 years waiting for the tra face transplant but he got it because the modern medicine just caught up you know past few years or so this guy oh so sad look what happened to it uh, on his face on the left how it was and then they gave him this amazing Here's the whole article, surgery. Let's look at the after. If we can, um, the before, okay, let's look at the before. Before is just, oh, so sad that he had to look that way. You know, that's terrible. That's not the way somebody wants to, um, minus the scarring, he looks like a young-faced guy. Looks really good. They gave him teeth. Probably implanted into his skull somehow permanently. That is amazing. Looks like a young guy with some scars. You know how perfect would you want to look? That's pretty good. They gave this guy a face transplant and it worked. And you don't want to see the horrific before. You know, it's not that horrific, but it's it's sad that he had to look that way and then there's a video on it. Cameron Underwood. Wow. His dream came true. He got to have the surgery. <clears throat> this guy looks kind of like a, a nice, happy alien. On the far left, it looks like he was in a burn thing, victim. He was a burn victim, had third degree burns. He, he was in a fire, I'm sorry. <clears throat> 
Looks like he was in a fire. He was in, he looks like he had third degree burns. Look at this video of him on the right. They even got the skin on his neck. This is the in the process video. And here's him on the right. Looks like a young guy. Amazing. Amazing. Went from the left looking like a, you know, 125 year old if they exist, or just a burn victim that really got third degree burns on his whole face, across his whole face, so sad. And if you're ever worried about that happening, it's not as big of a deal. It would be very difficult to go through that and have to, you know, hope that maybe by some miracle you could get the surgery and have it work and have the, the um, donor skin and face um, take on your... Uh, on your face and I think you have to take medicine so that the the other other body's tissue doesn't get rejected and they've got a really good strong hold on that to where it's working I think almost all the time now I think they found a way to to keep the donor skin and donor stuff on somebody's face and and hands and stuff so this is amazing look at the before gosh so sad it looks like an alien like a happy alien from another planet but you know he was just a burnt or very old he went from that to looking like a young man he's an actual young man looking face let's just let's not look at the um the the sad one from before when he was hurt let's look at this look at that that is amazing Look at that, his neck looks beautiful. He has a beautiful uh, 24 year old man's, young man's, or, or uh, 20 year old, however old, 20 something year old, perfect, you know, pretty perfect face. They can maybe even start to donate. See, this was in between. He was doing the surgery, his eyes didn't look as good. Now they look really good. Looks like it. Look at that young guy. Looks pretty average, normal. That is amazing, unbelievable, unbelievable. Um, you can see the article here. Here's a link to the. Oh, this is some of the other. <clears throat> this is the other guy who got it. Um. Oh man. Hmm. He had to get a second face transplant. I think he had an older face put on his face and it didn't I don't know. This is one of the ones that wasn't as successful, but they work on this stuff and let's not get horrored out by this. Let's not try to get um scared by this. This is pretty amazing. This is kind of new how well they're doing it now. And it can make people look younger as they get older. It's amazing. And, and not just that, that's not the most important thing. That's not what's important. What's important is that it can help these people who have been through serious trauma and injury and felt like freaks or felt not accepted and sad like um, the way they looked so different to help them to look normal. This guy, <clears throat> um, this one was one of the ones that's like, he's, I don't know. But this medicine helps people to look normal. You don't want to end up killing yourself, trying to kill yourself. Some of the people don't survive and it has, this is kind of scary. What he's been through, you know, they put an older person's skin on his face. Uh, it, um, 
This one was amazing. Unbelievable. It, it takes you to the article about the other guy when you click on it. Let's look at this one again. Just the after. Just the after. This right here. Look at this. Wait, 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 wait. Look at this. Look at that beautiful young face. They fixed it. There's nothing scary about it. There's nothing bad. They did a whole face tra transplant on him and he looks good and young. If I can find... And this guy for a fact. I mean, if I can find... See, this is... This is just a picture. I don't know. But this guy, apparently, you know, there's many pictures of this guy. Wow. His scars look so much better. He looks young. For the newest surgeries on earth that can do face transplants, he's one of the best. He's... Um... So it's possible with this guy right here. That's him looking pretty young. This was him before, and then I think he was in a horrible accident, and then he ended up looking like this, which is, whoa, really bad. Then they fixed his face with this, and then he his scarring went away mostly. Well, it started going away. He looks pretty young. He just has some scars, but those scars will go away in time. It looks like he's Okay, oh, and here's the other guy. Thank God. That looks almost perfect other than, you know, he, he may be blind, but that's that's his real face. It looks like a fake face. This is this guy. Um, so he looks apparently real. I'd have to see... Oh, man. These are scary. Your discretion is advised for a lot of these. It's getting there. It's getting better. Here's him when he was really young. Then it doesn't show the horrific one. But um, here's the after. And it's not that bad. He looks okay. He looks a little older. He's not as perfect and young as he once was. Don't ever try to kill yourself. Because, you know, you'd have to... And then this guy. Wow. Amazing face transplants. Here's a good link. There he is. Before. Here he is after. Looks pretty good. Has a little bit of scars. Not that bad. If you don't focus on the horrific before, he's not that bad. And here's this girl. She was a young, beautiful girl, really beautiful, but uh, maybe a child, so I don't want to say um, that beautiful. I mean, you know, she was just attractive to other people that were kids or something, maybe some teenager. She got, she did a horrible thing, tried to shoot herself in the face with a gun, so sad, and, and um, or something like that. And then she looks like this. Looks okay, like a regular lady. Right, right here on the right. Not, not this, not the heart horrific one, but the sad, or the sad one. Right here, that's her. I've seen plenty of pictures of this girl, woman. The regular woman again. She looks a little older. That's okay. Wow, this looks like a good one. That's her. That's her before. Oh, you know, not as great, right? Wait, here's her after. They fixed it. Before, after. Before, after. She looks okay. So.
That's why my surgery took 56 hours. Mm -hmm. He is Dr. Samir Mardini, the Mayo Clinic surgeon who led a team of dozens that pulled off Andy's transplant. Together, they spent more than 50 Saturdays over a three-year period planning and practicing every step of the surgery with a team of surgeons, nurses, surgical technicians, and anesthesiologists. They practice the nerve surgery every time. We identified on the donor all the facial nerve branches supplying the area of the face that was transplanted. We, we took pictures, we videotaped, we, we, we studied what every little uh, branch of those nerves did for the face. And we did the same thing on our patient on Andy. Connecting them all was a tedious process. The Mayo Clinic News Network, I'm Ian Roth. That is amazing. That is just amazing. <clears throat> it says they spent 56 hours on Andy's surgery. He's the one who had the best looking one. And it connected all these nerves that go to every part of his face so that when he thinks about something, it connects to the donor part of the mouth doing this and the subtle little movements of his face and he can make regular facial expressions and it's unbelievable he has no anxiety and worry about looking like a, a really ugly person out in public and he looks okay again and he appreciates it from what he's had to be through with his looks for 10 years looking looking like that um look that he had that was difficult for him to go through so he can appreciate how good looking he or how what he has now you know it's not like the best looking ever but he at least feels normal and not too totally different so that's amazing okay and he looks really young too he looks pretty young he has a little scars here he looks like pretty good cool pretty cool you know as far as whatever, you know, is okay. He, he looks like a regular young guy with some scars on his face a little bit, and that's it. Bye. Click like in the video. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed, and that's it. Bye.